Welcome back to the Rice of India. We travel to the Amira Group state of the art manufacturing center in Gurgaon just outside of Delhi to find out how they maintain top quality in their products. So the production cycle is based on April May seed into sapling late June early July depending on monsoon transplantation harvest happens uh, end September onwards all the way to Jan. So that's the cycle. Uh, and the farmer then brings his produce into the mandis where we buy from. Okay. After that, we bring the produce into our factory where we process it. And the processing involves lowering the moisture to a level where we can store it over a year, removing all impurities from the paddy as it comes from the field, and stabilizing the grain. We store it for seven, eight months in paddy form and then process it into rice. We store it again for three to six months as rice before we start processing and packaging it into final product, thereby maintaining the quality of what we talk of Amira Basmati, the best money can buy. Karan Chanana believes that a key differentiator that will allow Amira to stay ahead of the game is technology. And this is what's driving the company's investment in both front and back end technology. Rewind back 20 years, we were the first, Amira's the first company to set up an automated Basmati rice plant in India, where rice was untouched by hand. We continued to expand capacity and we are doubling capacity as we speak now. Our plant is in Gurgaon, which is a suburb of New Delhi. Okay? It's based in around 20 acres of land. We are now setting up a second plant in Karnal, which is under construction right now. Okay, we aim to have that completed uh, soon, within this year. Uh, and as we grow, we are going to be adding more facilities. We acquired uh, a company in Germany last year, which comes with a small uh, processing facility where we do smoked basmati rice. The world is evolving rapidly, and we see the change coming. And that's why uh, we've always used technology at the forefront. We were the first rice company in India to tie up, for example, with Snapdeal. We understand the uh, online marketplace. Uh, so it's not only back-end technology, which uh, is related to processing. We also understand technology in connecting with our consumer. So that clearly distinguishes Amira. I believe, uh, from what I see today, the, like what happened with the mobile phone uh, revolution in India, where we never had a landline revolution, I believe the same could probably happen in our retail industry where you'll see online uh, and delivery hybrid platforms eventually take over retail. So we at Amira are already at the forefront of that. Okay. Now to back up our growth, we are also investing in expanding capacity. And we've always upgraded our technology. Technology which has evolved and changed the world is, there's no, is no different in the Basmati rice industry. Now, talking of how technology has made a difference to the industry, over a period of time, the government of India has done a great job in, and the scientists have done a great job working at the Pusa Institute, also known as IARI, in developing natural seeds. I must repeat, natural. The Basmati rice industry does not have GMO. Okay? That's a great positive aspect and the industry must be recognized for that. We at Amira are a natural and organic food company. So the evolution of better seed, better uh, farm practices, which have come out from the vision of the industry, absolutely the government has been an enabler in that. Companies like us at Amira, we at Amira have helped the farmer to do that by sharing what more to do. So you've had seeds like 1121 Pusa Basmati rice or now the 1509 recently certified are a product of better adaptation of evolution standards. We at Amira have been quick to grab that, convey to the farmer, and we would not be able to convey to the farmer the growing evolution in the industry if there was no technology. We didn't embrace it. Technology has changed the way we live today. One of the major changes in the food world has been a shift towards healthier organic foods and Amira has recognized and adapted to this change. Actually, if people were going to detail, rice is probably the healthiest thing to eat. Okay, and 
Amira Basmati rice would be probably the top of the health pyramid. Why? Because we are gluten free, allergy free, low glycemic index, no cholesterol and we are untouched by hand. So all that actually contributes to health. At the same time giving you great flavor, taste, aroma and a great satisfaction of what you are having. So we have the Amira brown basmati rice, we have the Amira brown organic basmati rice, we have the Amira organic long grain brown rice. All of these are very healthy. Okay, we have Amira organic white rice. So we serve the natural space, we serve the organic space both with our brown rice and our white rice. But yet one more thing, we have Amira organic red rice. Then we have Amira organic, Amira natural rice with quinoa, rice and lentils. So we've evolved understanding the consumer. It's time for another break on the rice of India. Stay with us as we pick Karan Chanana's brain on the way ahead for the Indian rice industry and Amira on the other side of this short break. Does India have all it takes to become a global sourcing and manufacturing hub? SBI and CNBC TV 18 